Hello everyone, I'm Sir Danknam and I'm here to tell you guys the big, big news and that is the official start date of the Stylist Competitive League Season 2 Tournament owned by the creators of Phantom Forces, Stylist Studios themselves. The head administrator for SCL Division just recently posted an announcement and it says that SCL Season 2 will begin on this Saturday, July 3rd. Now first off, you guys are probably wondering what does this all mean? What exactly is starting on July 3rd? Well, I can answer this for you. This means that teams and most importantly team representatives have to schedule and play their matches on July 3rd or July 4th which is a Sunday or possibly July 2nd which is a Friday because it you know usually last season we did like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday but we see on this post that Division sent out a super important link that everyone should have saved on the computer because this link is the official SEL Season 2 tournament website that will have all the teams listed in SEL season two and we'll have each of their matches posted on there which lists on who will be going against who now there's a ton of stuff that i'm going to go over in this video but the first thing that i have to address is how the structure of this tournament format is going to be there are three stages in SCL Season 2. First, the qualifying stage. Second, the group stage, aka the main season stage. And third, the playoff stage. And after the qualifying stage, all teams will be in one of two divisions, the major division and the minor division. Now, since this league is open to all players of any skill level, there are teams in this community that are beyond superior than all of the other teams and players based off their experience and performance from last season of SCL and their just career history of competitive Phantom Forces as a whole. So that means that those teams will just be immediately placed into the major division. Now, going back to division's announcement, it has been determined that these seven teams listed will not be competing in the qualifying stage of SCL and will pretty much skip that stage entirely and start their season on stage two, the group stage, in the major division as official major division team. The seven teams that are predetermined to be in the major division are Karis Dash, Azura, Azon Clan, Phantom Rangers, YGDC, PG-13, and Mafia. And according to the division's message, these teams will be doing something else separately while the qualifiers for the rest of the teams are going on during the season. This could be meaning that these pre-placed major teams will probably be playing matches for, you know, uh, a little secondary minor tournament for a quick prize from SCL, or they'll be playing matches that will give them some sort of advantage during their main season in SCL Season 2. We don't really know yet, but this question will only be answered before the day of July 3rd, so we'll just have to wait and see but once I find out I'll post it on the CPFN social media which you guys should definitely go follow. Now let's go over this tournament website starting from the first page you see the information tab. As you can see, the qualifier stage consists of 20 teams in total. The minor group stage will consist of 15 teams in total. The major group stage will consist of 12 teams in total. And both of the playoff stages for majors and minors will consist of eight teams for each stage. All of the registered teams in the qualifier stage are either teams that are new to the competitive Phantom Forces scene or are teams that just weren't as easy to pre-place into the major division. Now remember, since there are now seven teams already placed in the major group stage, that means that there are five spots left in the major group stage. So meaning that the top five teams from the end of this qualifier stage will advance into the major group stage. Every team in the qualifier stage will play five matches in total, just like how last season was where every team played five matches in total and will play one match each and every week, meaning that the qualifier stage will take at least five weeks to complete. This qualifier stage has a very unique and efficient match system and it's personally my favorite and it's called the Swiss system format, which is a system where every match a team plays, whether they win or lose, their matches are gonna to continue to be more and more balanced and fair as the more matches they play. For example, let's say a team gets a really unfair match as their first round and they lose. This means that their second match will be against another team with one loss, just like them, basically making their match more balanced. And this system of going against opponents with the same record as you will continue until every team has played five matches in total. Now, at the end of the qualifier stage, every team will be placed in a somewhat accurate leaderboard, ranking teams from number one to number 20 in the qualifier stage. The Swiss system format will not only be used in the qualifier stage, but will also be used 
in the major and minor group stages as well. After the qualifier stage is complete and all 20 teams have played five matches, then the top five teams will go to the major group stage and a minor group stage will consist of the remaining 15 teams from the qualifier stage. The major and minor group stages will be the same Swiss system format like the qualifier stage and will take five matches for each team and five weeks to complete. In total, the qualifier stage and the group stage will take 10 weeks in total. After the major and minor group stage is complete, the top eight teams that stand on each of the leaderboard of the group stages will advance to the playoff stage, where there can only be one true winner from each division. Both playoff stages will have a double elimination bracket with each and every team being seated according to their standing from their group stage. Each team plays each match to try to advance further into the bracket. If a team loses two matches in total, then that means they are eliminated. The last team that reaches the end of the bracket and is basically just the last one standing from both playoff stages are crowned the winners of SCL Season 2 for their respective division. Now moving on to the second tab on this website, you can see all of the teams that are participating in this tournament. When you click on one of these teams, you can actually see what their upcoming match is. This is also where each and every match that this team plays will be listed on here, basically being a whole career profile for that team. Now moving on to this third tab, this is where you can see all the leaderboards, the standings, and the brackets for each of the stages in this tournament. The qualifiers in the group stages will be a leaderboard with standings that will update once teams win or lose their matches. And for the playoffs, there's a double elimination bracket which you can keep up to date with once the stage is active. You can also see the latest results of most recent matches and the upcoming matches that are yet to be played yet. Every week, teams will have a new opponent to go up against during the season. So this tab is gonna be very important to keep track of as a player and as a team rep in this league. I'm gonna leave this link in the description down below. So please go check it out yourself and kind of just look at everything because all the information about this tournament is basically just on this website. Now, that's gonna be it to talk about for this video. I covered so much stuff at a very quick pace. So I suggest you guys watch this video one more time to see if you miss any important information but all in all this has been your boy Danknam giving you the info and news I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as I can from now on if you have any more questions about the format feel free to ask the management staff or even me because I always try to make sure to answer everyone's questions as soon as possible anyways I'm so glad that everything's starting up now there's gonna be way more information that I have to cover for you guys for all the viewers out there just hang tight and I'll keep you updated as much as possible and as soon as possible and for for the staff, teams, and players of SEL, let's all get ready and prepare to have another successful season of competitive Phantom Forces. For everyone watching this video, have a darn good day.